Okay, this time we're back. Another heat pump installation, this time in Poland, done by professional Polish tradesmen. And this time we do have a balancing vessel. This one here, we have a direct hot water tank, domestic hot water tank rather. And we have two um, two pumps and let me sh we do not have radiators, so we have the underfloor heating. So we've tapped into that. So let's show you how they did, they did it. So this is an overview of the system. Very quickly, this is the buffer tank by Vasti. There it is there, there's a spec. Um, they use Honeywell valves. This is the mixing valve here. You can see it's fairly top-notch installation. They're, they're using these, I've only seen this in the industry before. Uh, and this is the 200 liter domestic hot water tank. Okay, so the heat pump's outside and you've seen that before. Um, red is hot coming in from the heat pump. Um, this is the hot pressure here, air release there. Coming in to this mixing valve here, this teed off now. The buffer tank isn't working here. This is the buffer tank here. It's not commissioned yet. But the mixing valve right now is just driving hot water into the hot water tank here. So the heat exchanger inlet and then back to the heat pump here again this is a t junction here and um, cold water return to the heat pump through here or to the buffer vessel and that comes back in it's difficult to see actually but it's the very bottom you can see that's the return pump there are two closed systems here the um the domestic hot water and that's the expansion of vessel for it this is really cool in poland they have this integrated system whereby you have air release valve safety release and gauge all in one piece that you can buy together so that's awesome so that's on that's the expansion vessel on the domestic hot water this is the expansion vessel here for the underfloor heating and it's interesting how they tapped into that so it might uh, i'm not going to basically open this up and show you the valves but my domestic hot water heating is there it was previously previously plumbed into the gas system which is now being turned off but how they connected in is interesting basically this here was the that's actually cold this here was the hot pressure to the underfloor heating and what they did was they teed in this was the existing pipe so now it comes in here this is off and goes out to the floor, heats the floor, and then comes back from the floor here, and uh, and then back back to the uh, buffer vessel. So they tie they they basically teed in here. So this previously would have been connected directly through here into this, but they, they put in a T junction, and um, we still have these valves open for now, but I don't think they need to be. And right, similarly, they teed into the domestic hot water. So this was for the hot water. Um, actually, the hot water comes in from the mains here and now goes off. It could have gone into the gas boiler. You can see here they teed in there. That goes off now to the domestic hot water tank. And it gets heated up and, they, and then it comes back in here and off out to the domestic hot water in the house. A couple of thing, other things to note, basic things. This buffer vessel and domestic hot water tank takes up a lot of space, not to mention the two closed heating circuit expansion vessel arrangements. Now this is this is incredible here. It really does re reduce the space and the amount of workmanship required on site. I've never seen this before in Ireland, but this integrated unit is, is just is top class. Um, they used solid piping if you can see in there that's actually some form of alloy steel and this apparently is, is typically used for gas on mainland europe and they had a special tool to um, compress it uh, it's an incredible fitting it's rated for 10 bar of course we only run at one bar i've never seen it before and uh, now for the domestic hot water they just used normal plastic pipe it's a lot more forgiving a lot easier to install uh, and there you go and of course they have two pumps and just like the diagram, so back to the diagram again. 
really the only bit of this that we haven't implemented oh yeah there's the electronics that's you've seen that before yeah there wasn't enough space on the main board so they had to create a sub board and of course it's it's poland so um, modern houses have three phase not single phase which is you know great um so they had to create a further sub board here and uh, yeah it can be isolated from here three phase sw switch and fuse um and we don't have the solar collector so that's not in there and we uh, we do actually have the backup boiler in that it's manually i just turn it on and i basically isolate the heat pump and turn off the heat pump up here which is fantastic so we will know this winter if it's minus 30 outside and heat pump can't do it anymore then potentially you can turn back on the gas but hopefully that won't be the case actually one thing to point out on the buffer vessel for emergencies if the heat pump can't supply sufficient heat we have a two kilowatt heater as recommended by samsung so back to the diagram again we don't have this we do have this under floor heating it was they plumbed in at the existing gas connection to it we have the balance or buffer vessel here we have the mixing valve which is not working yet and then we have the, the we have two by expansion tanks for two closed circuits this is outside no need to show that to you and we have the same control kit and the same uh, hmi so that's it um really happy with the quality of the piping work i mean this thing is not going to be springing leaks